So today we're going to be reading Revelation chapter 1 verse 8. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, says the Lord, who is and who was and who is to come, the Almighty. So this is a vision of the Son of Man to the Apostle John. He also refers to himself being the beginning and the end, thus kind of reiterating um, this Alpha and Omega. Jesus Christ was there before our beginning. Right. And we know uh, based on John chapter one, that nothing um, that has been made was made um, without Jesus Christ. So nothing would exist today if it wasn't for the person of Jesus Christ. So if that is true in John chapter one, then we know that Jesus is indeed the first. And he's the last. And he's also the beginning. And he is the end. He is everything in between. Jesus was there before our beginning as recorded in Genesis chapter 1. Thus, Jesus is also eternal. And I think that if we don't get Genesis 1 right, we're not getting anything else right. And if we read the whole Bible with that mindset that maybe Jesus is not eternal. Maybe Jesus is not Alpha and Omega, first or last, you know, beginning or end. You know, um, when you get on verses like this, your whole thinking would be, just be tainted at this point. Jesus is the beginning and the end. He is the first and the last. He is Alpha and Omega. He is the reason why we exist today and everything exists. Furthermore, he also is, was, and is to come. That means that he is eternal. That who he is today is who he will be tomorrow. And who he is now, he has always been. He has never changed. He remains the same. And that is why us Christians, we can trust in him. That he is unchanging. That we can depend on him when everything around us change, including ourselves. That Jesus Christ... God and the Holy Spirit does not change. And we can rest in that. Also, Jesus refers to himself as the Almighty. No one is more powerful than God. And God refers to himself, or we refer to him as God Almighty. So for Jesus to claim that he is the Almighty, he's claiming to be God once again. And this is a wonderful picture because Jesus is God in the flesh. And this is a wonderful picture reminder that he is who he says he is and that who he says he is he will always be and that who he always will be is alpha and omega in the beginning and the end thanks for watching please check us out on facebook twitter instagram and tiktok for the latest content also check us out on our website at www.waytruthem.org or contact us with this email address to connect with us. We are standing ready, willing to pray for you, to believe with you, and to connect with you. Also, check out our book on Amazon called What Do I Do Now? Building a Solid Christian Foundation to help you navigate through the most common questions asked by new and mature believers. May God bless you.